this allegedly Christian nation, how prevalent is this sort of decadent behavior? Well, I found uh, you know some examples that I've seen firsthand in Washington, evidence uh, the the influence of occultism and certainly witchcraft, as I mentioned uh, on the Baker Show you know, months ago. Um, you know, anytime you have people that are incredibly influential and have a lot of power, uh, they're going to be uh, they're going to attract those that have agendas that certainly aren't far from Christian. Um, and that's why you have a rank evil that uh, sometimes appears in the middle of, of governments, whether it's uh, you know, caving to a particular uh, issue, what, you know, like I think of Iran and the Obama administration, and you know, we know how evil uh, Iran is with its terrorism and its hatred of Israel and, and the like. Uh, so people that get wrapped up in that, get wrapped up in their own heady uh, power, uh, are often influenced. And when you look at well, Ross, Washington, you have a, you know, Dupont Circle is famous for being the center of homosexuality uh, in Washington. You have all sorts of you know, activities down there that uh, you know, are, are pretty, pretty souring. Uh, you have a lot of witchcraft. Uh, you have a lot of hedonism. Uh, you have all the issues that when I think of Sodom and Gomorrah, I often think of Washington, D.C. in the same thought. Hmm. Uh, uh, you know, and, and it's unfortunate uh, because sometimes we have some very good people that come to Washington with well intended to do the right sorts of things. And yet uh, these people end up uh, coerced uh, because of the nature of politics and surrender uh, their well intended ideas uh, to you know, something that is far, far worse. So, uh, yes, I'm not surprised, and, and I think it will continue. And unfortunately, uh, even, you know, people like uh, President Trump, uh, he needs your prayers. He needs to be uplifted because the temptations are great. Mm -hmm.